You're here to support an experience. One day you can tell your friends you slept on a carport. But, you know, <laughs> let's try to make a positive out of it rather than a negative. Meet Stanley Grant Holloway, a trailblazer in the world of track and field. Stanley is a true powerhouse in track and field. This unstoppable athlete is a three-time world champion, the 2024 Olympic gold medalist in the 110-meter hurdles. But that's not all. He's also the king of the 60-meter hurdles, holding the world indoor record at an electrifying 7.27 seconds. Stanley Holloway isn't just fast. He's a living legend, redefining what it means to be the best. When everything is good, everything's going well, you know, it definitely translates to the track. So my heart and your things definitely shots out the gate. I mean, LA is going to be, it's going to be absolutely crazy. I think we did such a great job to double back and do it again. And in LA, I think it's going to be a, it's going to be a big performance. Yeah, for her in the US, it's, it's going to be great. It's sad that the, we can only take three people to the Olympics. I love track and field. Track and field is very high on me. But doing charity work, you know, for, for the Lord is just even better. Hi guys, my name is Shra. I'm from Essentially Sports, and today we have an Olympic gold medalist from Paris Olympics. Please welcome Grand Hallway. Thank you so much, Grand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations on the gold. So proud of you. Uh, thank you for giving us this time. How's it going? How's Paris? It's been good. Um, these last couple of days have been a lot of. Uh, a lot of talking. Yeah. Uh, for the last what forty eight hours, I'm on like eight hours, ten hours of sleep. So, oh, yeah. it's it's a good feeling though. You know, you'd rather have this feeling of being tired and talking and having a gold medal around your neck versus not talking to nobody and not having a gold medal. So it's always a give and take. So I'm definitely excited to to sit here and tell you guys my story and you know what led to that gold medal moment. Yeah. So you're also known as Mister Consistent, <laughs> rightly so. So, uh, but there was one heartbreak that you had in Tokyo, you know, you were so close to the moment, but you missed it by a very less margin. So from Tokyo ending line to, you know, Paris, how has the journey been? How was the moment? Yeah, I mean, Tokyo, I was 20, 23 years old. So a little bit of, a little bit of immaturity, a little bit of not experience in the bit, um, younger, um, not as wise in the event, you know, you fast forward three years later, five world championships, mm, four world championships later, down the league title, yeah. um, Olympic gold medal, you know, around my neck. I think that just shows you the growth that I went through, you know, yeah. um, stronger, faster, wiser, more mature. I understand the event a little bit more. Yeah. I mean, just for me, let alone this season has been one of the best seasons I've had. And really all my years of running pro, you know, since 2019, you know, the biggest thing for a hurdler is that sub 13 performance. And I've ran 12 races this year and I've been sub 13 for, for six of them. So I'm 50%. Yeah. So you can flip a coin. If it lands on heads, then hey, he might run sub 13. If it lands on tails, it's like, oh, he it, it wasn't quite there, but he was close. So it's just been one of those seasons where everything's just been working out. And I'm very happy, very pleased to yeah. Really, just continue just to grow as a not as an athlete, as a young man. Yeah. So, in the past four years, what has been your biggest moment of struggle that you had overcome? Yeah. Um. Really, just kind of just growing, growing yeah. as not as a, like I said, as an, as an athlete and as a young man off the track. You know, I I would say back then track and field was all I had. Yeah. You know, it was like if I had a good practice, I come home happy. You know, if I had a bad practice, I'm coming home, you know, upset. So I just got to be able to flip the switch. You know, it's just like a, a light switch that you're using in your bedroom. When it's on, the lights are on, and then we flip it off, it's off. There's no more traffic feel. So I think that's been the biggest thing that I've struggled with then, but now that I, I, I feel good with now. So really just one of the things where overall it's just been great. You know, I'm looking forward to just continuing just to grow off of this momentum. You know, I'm going to keep my season going. I have a couple more track meets to do it. Um, and then afterwards, take a much needed break and yeah. then um, get ready for World Indoor Championships next year. Okay. So, no, not much big of a break for you? <laughs> no, not, not not a huge break, but enough to yeah. sit back, relax, and, you know, do it all over again. Yeah. So, we are here with PNG, and, you know, PNG has been a big support for you. How has PNG ensured a seamless Paris Olympics for you? Yeah, I mean, working with PNG has been. Um, it's been as easy as, as brushing your teeth in the morning. You know, it's it's not as hasn't been hard. You know, even coming in into the village, you know, they supplied athletes with little care packages, like with um just beauty beauty stuff, 
toothpaste, toothbrush, shampoo, and conditioner, you know, all the nine yards. And I was um, doing an interview um, a couple of hours ago, and I said, you know, to have air fresheners. You know, I didn't think air fresheners were going to be that, that cool, but to have air fresheners in all of our bags, yeah. it's eight guys in a room sharing oh, three yeah. bathrooms. So you, know, <laughs> you can already smell what we smell. So, you know, just to have those all over the place, you know, it's something small as that, you know, it doesn't seem like it's a lot, but it, it does enough that, yeah. you know, it takes some of the, you know, some of that weight off your shoulder and all. You know, even when I'm ready to get ready for like a big race, you know, I, I sometimes like to shave. I just didn't do it this time because I was just all over the place. But yeah. like, I like to have a nice clean shave and, you know, to use your like, labs, it's, it's been great. So p g has been, been nothing but, you know, great for me and my career, especially this year. So I just want to say, say thank you, you know, to that. Yep. And we also want to thank you. <laughs> so, um, thank you, Dr. Kapal, the Quidditch. You're pretty tall. So, how how is it for you to, you know, get on those cardboard bags? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, that's actually, I that mean, don't get me wrong, they, they're not a mattress, you know. So, yeah. but for what you have to accomplish here in a week and a half, you know, it, it's doable. You know, and you think they have to make accommodations for everybody, and this is the best accommodation they can make. So, rather than complaining about, you know, I can't do this, I can't do that. Let's be thankful, you know, that they are accommodating, you know, this and that. And you don't have to rent out a hotel. You don't have to spend money out of pocket. You know, you're here for an experience, you know. So one day you can tell your friends you slept on a carport. But, you know, <laughs> let's try to make a positive out of it rather than a negative, yeah. you know. So I've been enjoying myself in the village. You know, like I said, P&G that did an awesome job. I went to go get a haircut there at the little beauty, beauty salon. Good, you know. yeah. uh, and so I'm going to go do that little thing at the beauty salon and, you know, just to go there and, you know, just to get ready for my big moment. You know, that's the main thing. So, you know, they helped me out a lot. Since you allow me, I'm going to ask you a personal question. Go. So, uh, you're not just celebrating your Paris with uh, Olympics medal, right? but before that you were also celebrating your seven year relationship with Paris. <laughs> so, <laughs> tell us a bit about that. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely, it's been a, it's been a whirlwind. Uh, you know, from the first world, from when I was in college, my first NCAA title, yeah. to now being an Olympic champion, you know, Katie is right by my side through it all. So, you know, shouts out to Katie, you know, for holding it down and making it happen, but you know, it's one of the things where, you know, when everything is good, everything's going well, you know, it definitely translates to the track. So my heart and everything definitely shouts out to Katie. You know, keep me happy. Yeah, so did you guys celebrate in Paris? No, we have to, we have to take care of business on the track. Oh, my so I was I was actually getting ready to run 40 hours before. And usually I do 40 hours before and then 40 hours after, you know, so like just so like if, if I do have a bad performance, I got 48 hours to get it out of my system. Yeah. If I do have a great performance, I got 48 hours to get it out of my system. Oh, wow. So by tomorrow, I'll be back to the drawing board, figuring out what I can do better and, you know, how I can become a better, more consistent uh, hurricane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's great. Uh, so talking about a bit about your future. So politics is coming to U.S. So any plans for Elliot to come over again? Um, I uh, feel as good as I did now. Right <laughs> Um, I'll be close to no. I'll be thirty years old. I wouldn't. I'll be. I'll be thirty years old. So um, I'll see what I have. I'm sure at some point there's going to be another Grant Holloway ready to run the hurdles fast and quick. So you know the old the, the old the old trick of the trade is you know I'm the originator, so I know all my own. I know my own tricks to the trade, so I can't give them all the way. But um, looking forward to it. I mean, LA is going to be. It's going to be absolutely crazy. You know, to have it back in the U.S. You know, I yeah. think we did such a great job. Um, happening in Oregon for our world championships in 2022 so I thought that was great but um to double back and do it again and in LA I think it's going to be it's going to be a good performance so back to home soil so you would definitely want to run yeah if you don't want to run at home soil then uh, <laughs> something's wrong I think you should definitely be ready I think it's going to be good performances all around not just for myself but for all the rest of the team you said yeah definitely so going back a bit in one career you know when you were Pretty up in college, you actually had the NFL offer. Right? Oh, no, 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 not NFL offer. I wish, I wish. <laughs> Something around that, right? Uh, so, you had an option to Correct. choose a player Correct. towards the NFL or Hurdles. So, why Hurdles? Well, I'm not the best team player. I'm very, I'm very selfish. Um, <laughs> I need to have mine. So, like, yeah. NFL, I would have played wide receiver. I wanted to go to the University of Georgia. 
ended up decommitting, going to University of Florida to run track. Yeah. Um, but I am a very selfish player. So we can win the we can win the football game, but if I didn't have ten catches for 110 yards, no pun intended, yeah. I would be very upset. You know, we could beat the team, we could blow the team out, but I always want to make sure, you know, I get mine because that's that's just how someone's future is, you know, set up. So for me it's like if I do hurdles, there's no pointing fingers. You know, I can only yeah. look at myself. And then obviously growing up, getting ready for everything, I figured out that I need a team to help me out. So, you know, I'm, I'm able to point fingers at the team, but at the end of the day, I'm the CEO. Yeah. And, um, you know, everything kind of reverts back to me. Yeah, I think that really. So, uh, now that you have the board, it's hard. It's definitely getting the rightful popularity that it deserves. So, what do you think is the future of hurdles in Europe? Yeah, future for hurling in the U.S. is, is going to be great. You know, it's it's sad that the we can only take three people to the Olympics oh, yeah. before the Olympics even started. We had seven people in the top yeah. ten in our, in, our, in, in, in the once hurdle event. So four people's Olympic dreams got shattered because they yeah. didn't place you know top three. But if you bring any of those you know four people that got left at home, they could have been in that Olympic final a couple of days ago. So I think we're in great hands. Um, First of all, as long as I'm on the team, I know I'm going to never sell, but um, I just want to be able just to continue just to be that be that vessel for the people that make the team. You know, obviously, Daniel Roberts and I, we've been doing this since college, you know, since yeah. 2018 in college. So for us to be on the world scene together now, you know, yeah. going one, two, like we were in college, I think it's, it just speaks volume to how, you know, going to college and going to a university, yeah. especially in the SEC, is, is really good. So you talked about the Olympic trials. Uh, there is this, uh, you know, I heard from a lot of patients that Olympic trials is actually more tough than Olympics. Did you feel that? Absolutely. Um, for our Olympic trials, if you didn't run, if you didn't run 12, 9, if you didn't run faster than what I did at the Olympics, if you didn't run basically what I just ran in the final, yeah. you didn't make the team. So in order to make that, you had to run 12, 9. Now, that's just, it's just very, it's very tough. But, um, yeah, I, I think that was the Olympic Games. This was the Olympic trials. It's kind of just flip flop. <laughs> but um, I think it's definitely tough. You know, USA is so yeah. deep in almost all the events that we that we have. So I think it's going to be. I think we're in good hands. Yeah. Did you get any chance to catch the women's event? No. So actually, tonight, uh, Grace Stark runs uh, the, the 100 meter hurdles. So as soon as I wrap up with you, I'm going to go take a, a nice hot shower. And I'm gonna go out there and, and be big brother and go go out there and support wow. her. So I'm I'm really excited about that. And you know I think she has a chance to make history tonight. Yeah. So how was your family's reaction when you were born? Everybody was was ecstatic. You know, um, yeah. this is something. Yeah, this is something that we were you know trying to do for almost three years. You know, we done it on the world scene. We done it on the indoor world scene, the dominant league, but we never done it at the Olympic stage. Yeah. You know, where the most eyes are on you. So they were. They were beside themselves, you know, so just to see my mom and my dad and Katie, you know, both my agents, you know, I have old college teammates here supporting me. It's just, it's just wonderful. So, uh, you do a lot of charity. Yeah, so um, right after the Olympics is done, I'm actually doing a, a charity event, a golf charity event in October. Oh, wow. um, we're going to try to raise as much money as we can to, you know, feed people for Thanksgiving as well as give um, some Christmas gifts out to um, some less fortunate families. So we launched, well, I launched, I launched my charity actually at the last Olympics in 2021. Um, raised close to about $5,000 after it was launched. You know, just something small. Um, last year at the World Championships in Budapest, I really took it upon myself to really, you know, raise as much money as I can. And within like two and a half months, I raised close to $32,000. Yeah, so I'm just trying to raise as much money as I can, you know, to basically be that vessel and that push in my community. And, um, you know, I have some great donors this year. You know, I have some great people reach out saying they want to help out. And, you know, that 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 right there is, you know, that I love track and field. Track and field is very yeah. high on me, but doing charity work, you know, for, for the Lord is, 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 is even better. How do you get them to do it? Yeah, I don't make time. That's the thing. I'm always on the go. So yeah. like that's all I always say in the morning. I try to sit sit outside and breathe and relax and recharge and have some zen. But I mean, yeah, I'll, I'm always working. I'm always working. Okay, great. So my last question: Any special message for Grand Holiday fans? Oh, <laughs> special message for Grand Holiday fans. Um, a lot from Team Yes also. <laughs> 
if you're if you're watching this, obviously, thank you. You know, I I heard you guys cheering as loud as you possibly could on 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 the eighth, and um, I just want to say thank you. You know, sticking by my side for three more years, and you know, I can officially say the career command team is complete. You guys have watched everything from middle school races to high school state championships uh, to NCAA's to world titles, Olympic titles, world records. Um, you know, we we did we did it. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you for supporting me for these last ten to fifteen years. And let's keep adding some whipped cream and cherry on top. Just keep going, just like this, until it just starts overflowing. <laughs> And more to come. And more to come. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure is all mine.